This is Gemstones and Whiskey, an Outlander podcast. I'm Ashley Alexandra. And I'm Rena Ezra. And this is episode nine, The Reckoning. You're playing it after the opening credits now. What a nice waterfall. Yeah. Have you ever been to Niagara Falls? Plenty of times. Yeah. You have? Mm -hmm. I have not. Mm, Have you been to both sides? I believe so. I like it on the Niagara Fall side better. That's what I It's also super cool. One time I went where they had, they have the lights at the bottom of the falls at night and they shine on their different colors and they also had fireworks (gasps) above them one night. Maybe it was around July 4th we were there. That's so fun. Um, Super cool. Super great. Um, I definitely I, remember where I see fireworks. Yeah. Because I love fireworks, and there's oh, like really cool. cool places you could see fireworks. But yeah, it's a great. You, I mean, you would you would love it. Like uh, Canada is just Niagara Falls. Like the the. I mean, I'm sure it. I haven't gone in years. So I'm sure it's like really changed now. But like where you would just go, you know, walking around in the different shops mm-hmm. and the things to do, and it's just yeah, I really cool. like the vibe and the people. That's cool. I'll mm-hmm. have to go one day. Um, I want to point out this is the show opens with a Jamie voiceover and this whole episode is from Jamie's perspective which is the only time it's the only time that that happens with Jamie and it's also the only time that happens with any character that isn't Claire Mm -hmm. throughout the entire Mm -hmm. series Mm -hmm. isn't that so oh wait maybe that's not true Frank does he count do they do does he is is he narrate I don't know I was thinking um who are you Brianna, who we won't say who that is, but oh, does she narrate at some point? Question. I don't think so. No, we might follow her, but I don't think she narrates. I don't. So Jamie's the only other person. Actually, I don't know. Now you're really making me second guess. I don't. Well, you guys don't need to worry about it. If you're yeah. listening, you'll get there. Um, if you stick with it, this <laughs> show does get. It's really fun though, just to see the different seasons for sure. Yes. Um, so but now, in this one, yeah, that's cool. It's also cool how they you, they like do their their different cool shots that they have, where it's like his eyeball and then yeah. the flame, and then he's just so hot <laughs> because of the flame. Yeah. You mean, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Um, so Jamie's meeting up with Harex, and he got his men behind him. Um, essentially, they gave him the money, and. Uh, then Harx is like, oh, hey, by the way, I'm a deserter. And Jamie's like, great. So your word means nothing, nothing. to the British. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but he did say, I don't know if I said this in the last episode, he did share with Jamie that it was Black Jack Randall who shot that soldier, which is a big discovery. And yeah, so Jamie's huh? like, great, so no one's going to believe a deserter mm. over... Jack yeah, Rimmer. but Black I mean, Jack he knows he knows a different truth now. You know, he knows new information. That's fun. Just a I mean it. to know that it was him. Yeah, but you he know, now he's he out money. Yeah, he's yeah. out yeah. money, and there's again same thing. Oh, sorry, my bad. There was a cold open in this episode, so we're skipping the intro now. Um, um, but yes, oh, also sorry, <laughs> sorry Jamie's. Just a piece of it is Jamie getting dressed, and it's super cool how they show that though, where he lays the yeah. kilt on the ground and then lays on it and buckles himself. It's just funny belt. too to imagine like he's obviously like a soldier essentially, and like part of his routine is to just gingerly lay Wait. down on <laughs> his kilt, like and get funny. ready for the day. Yeah. Also, um, um, he just uh, got. Why do I keep forgetting that? boy's name the one that was with Clary thank you Willie just uh, wrote in and was just like Jamie (laughs) yeah Claire is Um, (laughs) Willie he is also from the south (laughs) she needs your help she's stuck in four hail Hail, Jamie hail hail Hail, Jamie hail Um, she needs you and something about black Jack (laughs) Uh, I so. will say I do love watching these brutes do what they do best. Oh yeah. So oh yeah. They're now we're like flashing to essentially they're all working to break into the fort. Mm-hmm. Um, they got a whole system going. They got whistling signals to come and back to get one of their own babies. Which like, how nice is that? So nice. 
Like Claire's so nice. part of the group now. Oh my god, I would love like it if that's I was how part you of the know group. your yeah. boyfriend's friends really like. Oh you. yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Because everyone's coming in. This is your crew. Like, ugh. Yeah, I mean, you also. It's important to be liked and on good terms. Well, maybe that's not the same thing. I mean, unless the people are bad people, but by right. your boyfriend's friends and like yeah. family and everything, like you want to be that's chill goal, with people. Right? Yeah, that's the yes. goal. Yeah, everyone's situation is different. Yeah, <laughs> some people are probably not. Some people, I guess, are not pleasant. I don't know, but but it's an, it's, it's nice to see too them getting like uh, you were saying their uh, strategy, like getting one guard at a time, yeah. and they're scaling the fort, and like obviously Jamie is looking over the wall, and there are rapid waters below, <laughs> so their exit plan's got to be kind of clever but this isn't for the exit right now we see leaving off last episode that doesn't he, look too sturdy he, <laughs> Sorry. he's pulling on a rope attached to it oh my god i'd be so scared he's and i've got bungee jumping essentially about to scale the building yes uh to get to the window where uh blackjack and claire are in that room claire screaming also the kill <laughs> They don't, I mean, in you don't get a peep angle. at anything, though. No, you don't, no. but those thighs are working, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he's he's been riding that Peloton. So we pick up right where we left off at the end of the last episode, where Jamie says, I'll thank you to take your hands off my wife. Oh, yeah, it's so good. He's like a Power Ranger. He's got to have a great line yeah. when he comes in. Yeah, right, like, you can't just be like, hey, <laughs> exactly. stop that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, you gotta be commanding. <laughs> Just open the window and go. <clears throat> <laughs> or, or if I kicked it in and I do my own entrance music, I'm yeah, like, dun, dun, dun. right, yeah, 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 I like that. Charge! I'd be like, Rena, what are you doing? Um, um, so, yeah. So this, I don't know I why think, he didn't. I mean, I do know why. I do like, know why. But I yes, as why. you're watching it, you're going just shoot, shoot him. him. Yeah. In my mind, though, I was for one second like, oh, maybe he's not as good of a shot because they're not allowed to have guns. The clans members are not allowed to have guns. Very good. Point. And so, like, I'm like, oh, you're trained to battle with your fists and with uh-huh. swords and knives. Um, but, but then like, you're like, it's Jamie. He and has also it's his wife. So yeah. Like, oh, yeah. But yes, we yeah. all know he's just I was a bad everything. shot until it's my wife, and now all of a sudden I'm a great <laughs> shot. Um, yeah, he, he, I, I still don't, I honestly, I still don't understand why Jamie didn't shoot him. Well, he says it at the end. I'll tell you when he says it. I'll remind you when Okay, he says. please do. And like, maybe it'll convince me. Also, but um, I'll probably still be like, no, he still should have shot so I think, like, Blackjack Randall, is. this is his, like, dream scenario. Oh, he is at the moment. so loving this. Like. He's getting off on this. Yeah. He's, yeah. Jay, and Claire's like, just go, like, save yourself. Just, because I think, again, for her at this point, like, she was so close to going home, and now she's back here, and now, like, you just go, whatever, man. Like, I don't, this isn't my home. I This is... I'm not having a good time. <laughs> like, just let him kill me and save yourself. Um, yeah. Jamie is clearly struggling with not beating the shit out of yeah, yeah. He's, Black he's, Jack Randall. And he's getting under both of their skins. And or- just to point out, he Black Jack Randall picked up the gun that Jamie had mm-hmm. and is now holding it to Jamie. And he's also taunting Claire with the knife at the same time. He's multitasking. Mm-hmm. Look at him. Mm-hmm. And then we and realize. So he says, you want to watch? And bends Claire over and. We realize it's a dud. The pistol does not fire. And it was all part of Jamie's brilliant plan. plan. Yeah, he did. Because all he needed was that one second for, you know, Blackjack to be confused as to what happened with the gun. I and still feel like he should have loaded the gun and just shot him. So he says... But they that would write, because how are they going to get out of this fort? Yeah, so then they would that hear that. Exactly, yeah. 
And this is why I would probably And die. also if they found him dead and they knew that it was them, like that would start essentially a full war and like the, they wouldn't be able to protect yes. any of them. I mean, oh my God, I'm, I'm so stupid. Of course they can't kill him. He's a red coat. He's a really high nice position. but it would be nice if he could. I know. It would make... But then they would have both like prices on all the clan's head and you're right, it would start a war and like, yeah. things would just be really, really worse. As they're escaping now though, they are obviously being surrounded by red coats. Yeah, I think this part didn't have much of a plan. So now they're like, we gotta just hope <laughs> we get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, but the rest of the clan is, uh, where are they? We're going to find out. Oh, here we are. There they were. They were making sure that that blew up. (laughs) Yes. Yeah, you need to... To create a distraction. Diversion. So they can run. Kill as... Or... Out of there. Get as many people as possible. And an explosion does so. Um. So they're on the roof? No, I think they're, like, on some stairs right by the ground level, so they're... No, they're on oh, the roof. shoot, you right. Well. Yeah, and this is, honestly, this would probably be their... This is the only option they have. I didn't see any boats or anything around, and they're obviously not going through the entrance, so they yeah. just jumped right into the water. Yeah. Which which is probably freezing cold. Uh, yes, in Scotland, Absolutely. Like, what we think is freezing, it's 10 gazillion degrees below that. Have you ever jumped from a high point into water before? Yes. It when I was, Yeah, it does. Well, like that's why we, you have to, like, kind of pencil in. You yeah. don't want to lift your arms out because that you water will break smack it. Yeah. into that. And, and you you'll get break your arm, oh, yeah, too. Yeah. I did in Mexico where there was a cliff <laughs> jump. Yeah. I remember how high it was, but it was most certainly very high. Yeah. Very high. Where did you jump? At, like, a water park, but it was the same thing. Like, yes. Uh, this was supposed yeah. to be a simulated cliff jump, but the, the short, the shorter one was closed, and I didn't know that as we were online. So your only option to to was, and I was like, "Oh no, <laughs> Mountain um, Creek is that Mountain Creek?" Yeah, I guess had stuff like that. It hurt. Let me tell yeah, you, yeah, it's I, not. I, like I, and like, I feel like I went it. far under, and I was like, "What if I drown?" Like they don't prepare you to like. It's Mountain Creek. No, no, they, not. Like, no, no. I was like, when am I going to reach the top? You're, you're totally right. I, that was definitely a fear of mine, too. I don't think about it until I was into the water, and then you're like, oh, I did not know I was going to go this far down. I just had no idea what the process was going to be after I jumped, and boy, and then I was like trying to swim to the side like I was fine, but I was not fine. Like, well, you, you're here now. I know, <laughs> but it hurt. I like, my whole body hurt. Anyway. I don't, yeah, do they still have, they probably, that's crazy. Crazy that that was just a ride. Yeah, you just jump off. Yes, yeah, like, well, that used to be the old Action Park, right? Yes, yep, yep. Mountain Creek, old Action um, Park, yep. So Jamie and Claire are having their first lovers quarrel, and um, certainly not their last. Yeah. Um, and Jamie's like, so essentially, they both expected that the other person was gonna apologize, <laughs> and they're both like, "I'm sorry." You need to apologize. Mm-hmm. Um, Jamie's like, you need to stay where I told you to stay, and it, this wouldn't have been a problem. And, and she's, she's like, like, I told you, you should have taken me with you, and then this wouldn't have happened. But, like, you don't want to listen to what I say, because I'm just a woman, and, like, I'm supposed to just do what you say. And she slaps him in the face. And I will, I will say, I do think Jamie's a little more right. In this scenario. Oh. Yeah. I understand what Claire's saying and like the, yes, you're not supposed to just listen to what he says, but like in this specific circumstance. No, I will, I will admit, cause there are other arguments where I agree with one or the other and yeah. like not, Jamie's not always right. Claire's not always right. But in this, it's like, but you know, what were you going to do if I was in her situation though, and I saw those rocks and I mean the stones and then after everything happening, the, yeah, like I, I don't also Jamie is being a husband for the first time. Right. And he's a Scottish guy and everybody knows how like they behave in their culture or whatever and how they treat their wives and yeah. stuff. And Claire's just like, Hey, listen, pal. 
I'm not like one of those yeah. wives. I'm not those other kinds of women. You don't treat me like this. You don't say this or whatever, whatever, because he's just like, oh, I'll slap you back. He's being very aggressive in his language and his body language. Well, and she's serving and she's it right back, back too, yeah. though. Like, mm-hmm. they say some really nasty they things do. to each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. And this is the one they, and only yeah. time that ever happens. They had to get it out of their system. Yeah. Because <laughs> any other time that they disagree I feel like outside of this episode I feel like it's in a somewhat health it's in a healthier way and it's not like low blows yes and sometimes it's a little more playful yeah like they're getting you know what I'm saying there is totally a difference in tone and for this they're like realizing they actually said hurtful things yeah and look he's like and for Jamie too like he's like I literally went in with my bare hands not even knowing what to do Was but the, I yeah. had to like I had to yeah protect you yeah, and like save her and he went in not you, knowing at all like, what's gonna happen be yeah. nice to me yeah. like yeah. you know and then Claire obviously feels terrible and they're Aww. both in such like ugh, they they both had like so much like pressure they put on each other yeah. and themselves and they're exhausted and they probably haven't eaten in forever right and also they've just seen each other in such a short span of time being threatened with you know death and yes. being uh um what's the word I don't know their bodies taken advantage of so it's a lot yeah but their reconciliation here they didn't storm off away from each other that was the thing they stayed here and worked it out together. yeah so and they like, were this vulnerable such, right uh-huh. so like even yes. okay they said the nasty things which i genuinely think neither person meant like i think that's the thing that you s- i don't think either person so fiery, really but- meant what they called the other person mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and then but then it's followed up with a moment of like real vulnerability and honesty and truth like even yeah. like for Jamie who like does feel like it's his job to protect people all the time like yeah. for him to be like yo that was frightening yeah. like Jamie doesn't say that yeah. you know yeah cause he tries to put on like a- he probably would not have talked about it yeah, that's true. If that's she said true. thank you or whatever, he wouldn't have that's, said another yeah. word about the fact that he just... Yeah. And he's opening up and he's like, he's being more... Also, like, they both just forgave each other. Yeah. Um, And that's um, another cool thing. It's just seeing their relationship as equals and who's taking the reins at whatever times that they're relying on each other in different ways it's not one person I'm just the brute force man blah yeah. blah blah uh, you're a woman you play this role their roles change yes and as they discover you know that I don't know just like exploring the new stuff in their relationship but they're not it, it's they're not a classic you know because she, when she arrived in the very beginning of this season to the castle and seeing how the men behave around the women and their own wives and, like, having their own side and, like, you know, just all of that stuff to know that this is different. They couldn't have had it more of the same because Claire is not more of the same. Yeah. And um, neither is Jamie. So... <laughs> God, Rupert's just so... <laughs> He's just talking about, like, farts or something you're saying. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Well, and clearly, like, the women are... Uh, sorry, the men aren't really giving Claire the time of day at the moment. No. And she's, like, definitely picking up on that. Well, I mean, how would you feel... Oh, yeah, so now she's, like... Now she tries to thank them, and they just ignore they her. They literally ignore But how would you feel if I was, like, in a group, and I'm like, God damn it, we had to risk our own men, our lives, and we have to go in here and always save your sorry ass. Yeah. Like, I don't want to talk to you right now. Yeah, I need yeah, time yeah. to just drink my wine, eat my food. Like, maybe I'll process it tomorrow. Like, I just don't want to deal with you right now. Yeah. That would totally be my response. Well, I also think it's also, like, um... So this definitely plays into the 
standards and expectations of this time mm-hmm. where it's a bunch of men who now go, okay, your wife put us in a really bad situation and also already did that because she made yes. a big scene and the, the red coat noticed her and then found them again in the woods and that's how she ended up with um, Blackjack Randall. Like, initially, so like, this is now the second or third time that she's created a real problem for them. And like their expectation is that like it's her husband's job to To rein her in, to explain that to her. And by explain that to her, I mean, um, beat her for it, (laughs) which that is exactly how I meant it. Yeah. It's literally like, you know, uh, this, you know, uh, what's the... Well, you just, like, you know, whipping your child when they're misbehaving. Yeah. Well, and that idea of, like, they don't want Claire to say thank you because, mm-hmm. like, they did what they feel their role yes. was, right? Like, they did, they, they did their... yeah They no, did their man should, thing, yep, yep. and now you as a woman need to take the woman punishment yes. for yeah. being the problem. Yeah. Um, Which, of course, is not, like, especially today, people don't discipline their kids the same way. No. Right? Physical power should not be exerted over anybody. That should not be a thing that is used as a tool. um, I agree. I agree with that. Um, But people come from different homes, different families, and, like, different... uh, I wouldn't call it a tradition, but definitely different methods of discipline are used. But also, it does, like, when she was... Claire was laying in the bed, and she's like, you think they'll ever talk to me again, like, the rest of the group of the guys? I'm just like, oh, my God, wow. Like, she's actually, like... She's, like, sad that they're not... She... That they... They're upset with her. Yeah, I mean, listen, I think she's back She cares about what they... She was in this weird period, right? She yeah. almost got back to the stones. She felt like she was almost connected back to her previous life. And now she's very squarely back in this life. Yeah. And so you start remembering the realities of this life, which is, like, these are people I have built relationships with. And also, like, we have to rely on them at this moment. Like, yes. we only have them yep. right now. Yep. Um, so, like, yeah, of course she feels bad. And I think she does realize, like, you know... It, that was a really terrible situation for everyone to be in. Mm-hmm. And part of the responsibility is on her because she was the one running. Although in her mind, there were reasons for that, that she can't explain to anyone. But um, anyway, Jamie's like, so this is, this is, like, this listen, is blocking <laughs> where she's just like on the bed and like cowering like well, a little kid basically. Yeah. does not want to be slapped by the belt. How do you, this is like a big question, but I mean, She's like, I would follow your orders. I said I'd Because, like, in Claire's mind, she's like, I get it. Like, I understand. I'm not stupid. And I I understand that. Like, I'm sorry for what happened. And I will not do it again. And he's like, I understand that you think you understand (laughs) it. He's like, I used to think I understood things, too. And then until my dad beat me, I... I didn't really know it. Mm-hmm. And she's like, well, that's not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's like that. That's not how I. And she's like throwing, you know, bowls and cups and uh, tumor. And, like, and they all hear the ruckus. Um, yeah. They're like, they're the mm-hmm. Clint is downstairs uh, having a <laughs> feast and they're upstairs. Um, and. And I he's not backing down. How do you. going to throw her over his knee. And Here's, gets her bare butt and, like, spanks her with the belt. Yeah. And is also, like, really spanking her. And he also says, I think the one thing I didn't, I don't know. I have, I go back and forth on how I feel about this. Because he also says, shoot, what was the line? I said I had to do it. Oh. I had to do it, but I didn't say I wasn't going to like it, which means, like, he does like it, which then is the part that... He said like, he wasn't going to like yeah. it? Yeah. Like, I said I was... Hold on. Oh, yeah. He just said it right here. I didn't yeah. say I wasn't... Going to enjoy it. Yeah. And, like, that's the part where I'm like, well... He kind of enjoys it. I don't know. Don't don't beat your partners, okay? 
Moral of the story yeah, is... Yeah, no, guys. Don't beat your partners. It's not cool. It's not. And it's... We don't... Gemstones and whiskey does not we condone... Do not. ...beating your partners. We do condone um, finding and utilizing resources if you need to be... Get out of a situation that you're in. Yeah. And that's all I'll say we'll leave about it at that. that. Yeah. So it's the next morning and we got porridge. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that's what I imagine that is, right? Or oh yeah, well, that's kind of no, be no. He season. does say porridge. Oh, okay. Cool. In a later season. Cool. What's that? Um, Goldilocks. That's what I was thinking. Yep. Anytime I think of porridge, I think of it's the only time we've heard of it. I think. <laughs> yeah, and then probably. curds and whey in Little Miss Muffet. What's that? I don't know. Curds and whey. Is it like um, cottage cheese? That. Cottage cheese. That would be mm. my closest guess. Isn't that crazy? A cottage cheese is just like... I've never had cottage cheese. Like, really? Yeah, I don't really want to. It doesn't um, taste... I don't think it tastes bad. Mm. But I last time <laughs> I had cottage cheese was not like... It, I mean, I'm plant-based now, so I don't have yeah. cottage cheese. I don't think there's a vegan version. Or at least I haven't had a version of cottage cheese. But... Um, it's just weird that it just comes from aged milk, and like that's how you get the yeah. Slop, or that's the process of it. I needed cottage cheese for a recipe, like it was like you can use cottage cheese or something else, cream cheese maybe. Uh-huh. And so I was like, all right, maybe I'll look to get cottage cheese. There are like eighteen thousand different kinds of cottage cheese. There's eighteen thousand like, different big curd, in little curd, yeah, home style. Yeah. Other, I was like, I don't know. I, don't I just get the, shop right regular? Bad, that's, like, that's, regular? Like, that's the regular. I get, but not to the quiet taste. taste. It's like, it's the, not, like uh, whatever. Who knows? Um, anyway, Claire types. and okay. Jamie and all the men return back to the castle. And um, it's a little awkward because uh, Colin's like, well, I guess congratulations on your oh, wedding right. that no one asked me to approve. Right. Yeah. Uh, ask for for forgiveness, not for Claire's permission. Like, um, thank you. <laughs> Jamie seems to be very unaware of the fact that Colin is upset. No, I think he knows. But he's just know. trying to be... He seemed optimistic when he first looked at Colin, and Colin like, chose not to say to sm- anything. Uh-oh. So Colin essentially said congratulations to Claire, and like... Gotcha. Declared her Lady Brock to rock. Brock. And then was like, and Jamie is there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well. It's nice to be back in the castle. Must be nice for them to stop traveling for a bit. Oh my god, look who it is. Larry. Larry. And she's like, why'd you do it? I waited for you, Jamie. Like, why did you... Mary Claire, like I was literally counting the days until you returned, and like I had no idea, and like I was just trying to like plan our future. Jamie's like, uh, we didn't plan it. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just like, uh, it's an arrangement. Dougal made me do it. (laughs) Yeah, Um, he is being nice. Like he is like he is. He's he's trying to let her let her off. He's like, I gotta go talk to Colin, but I yeah. promise you, like, we'll talk about it and I'll explain it to you. And uh, that sucks, though. I, I do definitely feel bad for Larry. like been in that, not in that exact position. In Larry's but, like, position, yeah, where you just like care, you love someone so much. Not love, you like are infatuated with someone uh-huh. so deeply, and then they're taken. and like you envision all of these things, and then like. Especially like being a younger sure. girl. You know sure. what I mean? Yeah. Like when you're Reality's younger. Reality's a cool, cool place. And you're like, oh. Because she's fantasized probably. And they were gone a while. Yeah. And she did not know, nobody knew obviously until it happened. That right. him and Claire were going to be wed. Yeah. None and she's that. a stranger. She's an English woman. Yes. All of these things. And also, like, yeah, honestly, like, if I had a boy who was making out with me all the time. And he did that, too. He and did like out with her. Mixed messages. Like, yeah. Yeah. And, like, totally mixed um, volunteered to get beaten up in front of everyone because I got in trouble. Like, yeah, I would think yeah. that maybe it meant something. They were totally beyond the point of just flirting. Yeah, yeah, your tongue was in my sure. mouth. Yeah. You mm-hmm. owe me something. He took a what. beating for her. Yeah. You do that for everybody? I don't know. 
I mean, it, 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 yeah, Jamie basically takes a beating for a lot of people. I mean, yes, actually, <laughs> that's yeah, a it, it, <laughs> main pillar of his character, yes. Uh, so, now Colm's like, uh, I mean, it has the all their coins, everything that they collected for the Jacobite Rebellion. And he's like, this is for the Rebellion, right? He's like, like so you want to tell, tell me about, about it? it? <laughs> he's like a dad who's like, so I found your coins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have anything to tell me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he's none too happy, of, of course, because there's a lot that's been happening under his nose. And he's only finding out about everything now, so... Yeah. Yeah. He's like, where is the loyalty lie? And Colm's essentially like, well, Jamie looks good and guilty. And Dougal's like, well, Jamie's like, no, I'm not. Like, I don't really care who's king. Like, (laughs) I just want to be innocent again. Mm -hmm, Yeah, I don't. I just don't want a price on my head. And Dougal at least was honest and I think again because he believes so much in the mission and yes, like yeah. believes in restoring Scotland and like a rightful king and, and all that stuff so he was like Jamie didn't do anything for it it was me it okay was me. I did it yeah so brother brother um, Yikes. going head to head and having differences once again um and Colm's essentially, like, choosing, uh, pulling rank and is like, yeah, just a reminder that, like, I'm actually Laird of this clan, um, and I'm putting the safety of Mackenzie of the clan the in before, front of yeah. Scotland or any kind of uprising, anything. Because, again, they already tried it. There already was a previous rising, mm-hmm. and it was a big failure. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I, people are just going to lose their lives. I'm not doing that. And Dougal's like... And Colm isn't wrong. Yeah. Like, he has more of the emotional maturity and intelligence that Dougal McKenzie does not. Yeah. Where he's like, I know this is a firing, passionate, I know you want Scotland back, I know you have, like, blah, blah, blah. Colin wants those things too, sure, in a perfect world, but he's not stupid where he's just like, there's so many, yeah, like you said, so many people are going to lose their lives putting the McKenzie family you know, first and thinking about everyone else. Yeah. And uh, Dougal's just impulsive. He's yes. very impulsive and he's very rash and he has that, you know, rage in his belly and uh, you can't think clearly when he's also so, like, emotionally and psychologically and, like, invested in all that. Colin's at least able to separate himself from a situation yeah. and, like, analyze it. Well, listen, there's a level of diplomacy. Yes, and. Yeah intellectual strategy right sure yeah you gotta play nice even if it's like it's politics yeah you know and like yeah and so one move has a lot of um consequences right so you i guess the goal is like to just make as least amount of waves as possible when you're in charge right yeah that's kind of yeah for him. That's his that's strategy. Obviously not Colin. how Dougal would yeah, no. run things. No, certainly um, not. And Colm kind of chewed Jamie out and was like, well, um, you know, you've kind of messed up all the hospitality that I've provided you. And, like, you go and do this behind my back. And now they know where you are. And um, he also banished Dougal from the castle. And... Um, essentially told Jamie that it's his job to go watch after him. I think all in that scene, right? Yeah. Yep. And... I do like how they're nice in their <laughs> comfort of their own bed. Again. Um, yeah. I mean, Claire is, at least. Uh, yeah, look at her. She's like... Claire is doing classic yeah. passive-aggressive. Um, like, hmm, oh, is that so? Wow. Hmm. Jamie takes off his jacket and she's like, what do you think you're doing? I'm going to our bed, and you can figure out some mm-hmm. other arrangements. Yeah. 
she fixed the blankets, she's in her nightgown ready, and she's sleeping under the covers. But yes, that bed did look very comfy. Look comfy, right? And the fire pit, the fireplace is right there. And the snow is so pretty. So pretty. Um, anyway, now all the guys are fighting, essentially, because they found out that Willie told Colm. Willie's the one oh, that yeah. spilled the beans. Mm-hmm. Um, that they collected money for the Jacobite yeah. rebellion, yeah. Yeah, Willie, you kind of fucked up. Twice. Like, twice, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Um, and I think this is a really interesting scene because you do see the um, separation between the Mackenzie men and the Fraser men. Yes. Um, so it's Jamie and... Uh, Murtaugh, who, you know, talk and are kind of like, listen, the Mackenzies are going to do what they want to do and they're going to follow Dougal, but like, yeah. we got to do our own thing that's right by us yes. and our family. Like, that's not our fight, essentially. Yep. Yeah. Because he was just uh, saying, one of them was just saying, like, where's your loyalty lie? The chief or the war chief? Yeah. And now that Dougal is banished, and it's true, like, Dougal does have men behind him. Um, but they're, you know, higher up is is Colin, who they're also serving. So, um, you think there's going to be, like, a rift between all these guys. But I don't know. They've been through, like, thick and thin with each other. They've gone through so much it's, with each other. I yeah. feel like they definitely... Uh, it's not really a rift. It's, like, Dougal's kind of, like... Who's gonna... It's a little bit of a divide. I don't know. Yeah. I just mean, it's not necessarily hard feelings, but Dougal's like, listen, I'm gonna get down to business, like, you know, you know what I'm about, who's interested in following me, and anyone else, fine, do your own thing. Yeah. And that's kind of how they they leave leave it. it. For now, yeah. And just a good old pee on the castle. (laughs) (laughs) As men do. Yeah, well, they gotta go. Um, and yeah, for them to do. Murtaugh's like, listen, Jamie, this isn't our fight. Let's take some horses and let's just like hightail it out of here, and we'll figure it out. And Jamie's like, mm, I can't have my wife like living on the run. Yeah, yeah. Like, which is true. I mean, that's really sweet that he thought of her that way. Well, because that's a lot of strain and new stuff for her to get used to. Because she's obviously not a traveler like that. Yeah. But Murtaugh is also being like just super solid because he is always looking out for Jamie's well being. Yes. And well, and I think too, like Jamie is also imagining a family yeah. life. Again, you know, he wants to settle somewhere. And he yeah. wants to go home, first yeah. of all. He oh wants to go home to Lollybrock. That's why he wants his innocence, so he can yeah. go be Brock to Rock. Of... So he can bring his wife there. Yeah. And, uh... Colm's just not happy. Yeah, Colm's still <laughs> chewing Jamie out. Um... He's so angry. Yeah, and he's, like, complaining about Dougal... It's going to explode. It's going to lead to more you violence. You know, I think also Jamie next to Colm is probably the next most diplomatic character. Like, he yeah. really is good at, like, that strategy and navigating really tough situations. And so I think situations. that's why Colm is having a further discussion yeah. with Jamie. And, and he being just very Dougal. honest. He didn't exactly. He's still talking with Jamie. He's not just like, no, go away. I can't even look at you. Yeah. I can't even talk right now. They're hashing things out. Yeah. And, you know, Jamie's like, listen, we know that, like, they, the rebellion doesn't have the funds at the moment, Mm -hmm. right? So, like, let Dougal do whatever he's going to do for the next few years because it's going to fizzle out, I think, essentially, is what everyone thinks is, like, it's not going to actually end up going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So... He's like, he's trying to find a resolution for yeah. all parties to be happy, basically. So yeah, um, Jamie's like persuade. I mean, not persuading Colin, but he is just 
He's, he's just, just like saying like you don't have to do anything right now. Like you, Colum, don't need to change anything you're doing. Yeah. Like I you know, let Dougal whatever do whatever he decides to do and then He really doesn't think it's gonna have like yeah. said, a massive uh, impact or and if on it does, like, like if it does come to the point of like raising arms, like you can decide then whether or not you wanna join, like yeah, he's like, he basically, he's saying, like, you have, it's always nice when someone's just like, you have time. You have time to decide. Yeah. You have time and to be like, you have, you know. Diffuse a situation. Exactly. Right? So it's like, not yes. to rush into something. You're feeling betrayed. You're feeling frustrated. Yeah. Um, yeah, feel those feelings. Call him. But also, like, time. let's just talk this out and be like, it. things can feel, when you're hurt, things can feel very urgent. And just that reminder that it's not. Yeah that urgent yeah i think it's also just like such a like yeah i don't know them just being brothers do go and call them and just um oh my god yeah i forgot he said this That Colum said Dougal, if he keeps, like, talking or saying what he's saying, that he's eventually going to end up on a pike. Yeah, essentially, like, you're not careful with your words and your actions. Like, they're you really going to get you in trouble, mm-hmm. essentially. Mm-hmm. You're reminding him that he swore an oath. Yeah. And what's a man's word these days? Um, which is true, though. He is, again, he's his brother. He cares for him, and he is looking out for him. Like, he's also, he's looking out for everybody's well-being. You have to, okay, you have to, like, you have to look out for everybody. You have, like, so much on your plate. But he's also, like, yeah, if you keep doing this thing that you're going to do, you're not going to be alive. Like, you're going yeah. to literally die. And, like, that probably hurts, too, for how angry Dougal makes Colm. Like, Colm's still, like, you're, you know, you're still my brother. Yeah. Well, and I think, too, what he's saying so, like, in Dougal's mind, I do think Dougal sees himself as a loyal man. And he pretty much is. And in his mind, he's like, I don't think Dougal would ever go against Colin, except with the only exception of when it comes time or if it comes time for a rebellion. Yes. Dougal would be participating in yes. it, whether Colin wanted him to or not. Mm-hmm. And so he's like, listen, I've never, like gone against you mm-hmm. um and i i wouldn't necessarily like i don't plan to do that for any other reason yeah it's just the Dougal's uh connection to his country yeah and his passion and the independence he wants that which he is in wrong like really when it comes like to, like you do think about both sides and you're like yeah like Dougal doesn't like Scotland should be free or Scotland should have these like people shouldn't be raided by British soldiers all yeah. the time people should be living a like a comfortable free enjoyable life um and Dougal just like his attachment to his country and wanting to better it is like outweighs certain things and is just too like I said he's just too attached to that um so we go back to Jamie skipping rocks which is where we saw him at the top of the show. Really good. Look at that. Three skips. Yeah. Such good skips. <laughs> um, and, you know, he's kind of having thoughts about the situation with Claire and he's not seeing any improvement mm. and they're not communicating. And that's really frustrating. And again, it's the first time he's navigating a relationship like yeah. that. And with a woman, that's very much not of this time. Yeah. Like, a lot of differences in the His way first they, relationship. Yeah. yeah just, like, the way they think about yeah. things. And, like, that must feel overwhelming to be like, oh, we fundamentally disagree on certain things. Where that has never really been a common situation yes. in relationships. Yes. Um, and there's Larry in a choker and a cloak. And she's like... She got that choker idea from Player I, yeah. I think so. I think yeah. she's like, oh, you like girls who wear chokers? <laughs> I love wearing yeah. chokers. Yeah. And yeah. like... She's never worn a choker before. No, Maybe she doesn't even know what it is. It's <laughs> literally... She's like, is it just some fat... I just tied it in the back. It's ribbon it's just in the knot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and anyway, she's like, Jamie, like, I know that what we had was real. Like, we had feelings for each other and like... You don't look happy with her. Um, 
and your she is trying on your back. to she's weasel her hands. way in, and she's like, you're carrying the world on your back, like, you must be so tired, let me carry some of the load. And she's just, and she's like, by that. She, I mean, how old do you think she is? 16? So I think good, they yeah. say it at some point. You're probably right, yeah. God, she's a minor. Um, and he looks 30. Yeah. Um, and then she's like, hi, here are my breasts. Look at all the goosebumps on I her know. boobs. She must have been really cold. Yeah, it was probably a freezing cold yeah. Scotland day. Yeah, there's nothing. She's just wearing a corset, that. by yeah. the way. And a choker, let's not forget yeah, the choker, yeah. of course. And puts his hands on her breast. And she, look at him, look how weak he is. Oh my god. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> For Jamie? For him to control himself, you mean? Yeah. He's having, pro- first of all, he's a man of 1700 Scotland, mm-hmm. A. He is full of testosterone. We yes. know this. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's having problems with his new wife that, like, they don't have foundation yeah. yet. They you know what I mean? In what? A few days, <laughs> right? Unless no, they did, week, someone got murdered. Weeks. Yeah, so, exactly. True. Yeah. Um, I think he he did did, he did. a he pretty said he made a vow. damn yeah. good job. He turned her away. I think he did the best he could in that moment because he also is supposed to be young as well. He is supposed to be like twenty. I know. That's why I find it so funny because he's just so obviously looks. How many twenty-two-year-olds do you know who would turn that down? You know. And so he's like, all I know is we need to find a way forward one step at a time. So he goes into his room with Claire, and she's sitting there brushing her hair, which anyone with curly hair knows you don't brush curly hair, but that's a conversation for another day. But it doesn't matter if day. looks like that. <laughs> you, don't, you don't brush dry curly hair. That's not a thing that happens, but um, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, I, I made that mistake so many times. Oh, gosh, I have such curly hair. Naturally, such yeah. a pain. And so Jamie's like, yeah, I love it. all right, listen. He's like, I. we have a lot of traditions here. I was raised in these traditions. And, you know, I just want to give you an example that today I saw a rigid man bend, like, Colin, you know, made kind of an agreement with Dougal, mm-hmm. put his feelings aside. He's like... Where I come from, wives obey husbands, and husbands discipline them, and that's just the way it's always been. And Claire's, like, steaming. It's, he ha- they have to talk about this, though. Yeah. Because but, the, a huge divide is their tradition and their heritage, yes. and they're like, that is... And listen, he came in here not just to say that, but to say, maybe it needs to be different for you and me. And, like, how... He, he Amazing. came to that himself. It's very he's aware. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. And that like really shows just he is so more emotionally intelligent than his yes. peers. Yeah. Like, yeah, he is. He is different, too. Like Claire is different, but he is very different. Um, well, and he's making a pledge to her, the same pledge mm-hmm. that all the men mm-hmm. gave to Colm. He's pledging his loyalty to her. He does Jamie have or had any brothers? No, not justice. that I recall. Right? Oh, one justice, the one brother who passed away. When did they say when he passed? When they were kids. Was his name Sam? Is that why you don't remember it? Because it's like so. Yeah, it's and just talked about. You know, we never and, see him. Like, but you never, don't. Like, he never like grew up with him, and he was a huge part. But I think that's what I'm like getting to is like it was a major difference that he's had a lot of strong women in his life. Yeah, and for his sure. sister. Oh my gosh, when well, his sister is incredible. Um, and, but like him being very close with her, and also when he's like. We know in, you know, this, from what we know so far, that he's very close with uh, Murtaugh. Am I saying that right? Yeah, Murtaugh. Um, yeah, so, like, him as another influence. And, again, out of all the people in the group or whatever, though, we have not seen Murtaugh act like Rupert. We have not right, seen right, that, right. you know what I'm saying? So that's how I'm just, like, picking up on things with people that Jamie surround himself by as he's grown up in his developmental years. Yeah. And you're like, okay, this is totally attributing to why he thinks differently, yeah. why he acts differently. Well, he's not barbaric like those other And, yeah, two, know. 
we find out more about his mom too. Yes. His mom made some very progressive choices for yes. herself. Yes. Considering the time she lived in. Yeah. Um. So anyway, Claire's like, "Listen, I know I should be upset with you," and Jamie like loses his breath because he's like, "Listen, like if you don't want to be with me, like we can live separate lives." Oh my god. And she's like, "I should want that, but I don't." I know. And he's like, thank God. I know, I know. Because um, that was going to be painful for him. I know. And he tells her, like, you're my home now. And he shares with her that the ring that she has is the key to Lolly Brock, his home. Yeah. And, like, like she's his home. And now they're making out. And now they're going to have some really great sex. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> After hearing something like that, like... Just a rush. Oh, my gosh. And then he just says in her ear, I want you, Claire. Yeah. Can you They're in front of a fire. Can we just talk about that? Wow. And he says, will you have me? Come on. Consent. He asks her. I know. Here's something I will say about the show. There is a ton of rape in the show. Okay? Oh, tons. Like, way too much. But. Way too much. I feel like it also is a show that depicts consent. More frequently than most shows that you watch. Also agree. And he literally was like, "I want you. Will you have me?" And already when like, I already make it. Yeah. Yeah. Before I he will. Continues, yeah. And he, if she said no, he would have stopped. Yeah. Like you could just tell. He probably would have been like, "Oh darn. Oh man." Yeah. And like, this I is something we that comes fight. up. Like that is something that happens. You know, more often than than just in this episode. So I think that's something to point out because I know that the rape is like. A lot, and, you know, we all have feelings about how it's used in the show and whether it's appropriate or not, but... They do their teachable moments when they do it. Um, so, listen, they're... (laughs) I like to call this dagger sex. Um, like, when I try to think about all the sex scenes, this, I... This is That's a tied big story, though. It's not, with it's number not, one yeah. for like my favorite sex scene. In really? The series. Yeah. Oh my god! Ex- oh my god! <laughs> Ashley, de- explain. What? De- explain though. Like she was asking him for what she was holding a sword to his throat while riding him. Yeah, because essentially they're both like, "Hey, we are both in charge here. Mm-hmm. Like we are equals." Yeah, and I will. I will, uh, there's just, they've agreed to a give and take. Yes. And an ownership on both parts of the relationship, Mm -hmm. like on both their parts of the relationship. Um, And also they're in front of a fire and it's like passionate. Yeah, they're switching through many different positions. Come on, is it, you wouldn't rank this towards... Getting, no, it's high, oh. no, it's high, yeah. Okay. I'm not breaking it low. Uh, now I want to know what your top is. What, my top sex scene? Yeah. You said this is your top sex scene? And this is tied with one other one. But this probably went Was out. the wedding sex scene high up for you? Um, no. I mean, yes, high up, but not. it's not the one that's tied for first for me. This is definitely high up there, but I'm going to have to refresh my memory. I don't think I remember all the sex scenes mm-hmm. right now. I don't think I'm thinking of... I'm trying to remember what I, I'm trying to figure there out which one, ones. which one you're thinking of right now. It, but it's probably in this when season, we get to so it. Yeah. yeah, it's this one. I think comes out on top um, <laughs> because this one is the other one. I'm thinking of is a little sad, so that one's not that one. Is, I like happy sex. Yeah, it's definitely is, when they do happy sex yeah. as opposed to like when things are sad and devastated. I mean, it, it's just a different kind of energy. Yeah. Um, but no, I would agree. I would definitely rank this up high. Also, because it was just another culmination of a huge, new, great step in their relationship. Yeah. So that's when it's like moving that forward and along in a positive light. Then you're just like, yeah, bonus points. Yes. And that is like, they're starting to lay the foundation for themselves. Yes, a absolutely. recognition of, yes. we have different traditions and different customs and different perspectives and so let's acknowledge it yeah. and figure out or and agree that we are going to together redefine yeah. or define for ourselves yeah. what our relationship is going to be, what our life's going to be. I also love this where they're cuddling 
after sex and on the ground by the fireplace and Jamie asked, what does fucking mean? Because <laughs> it is an a sadist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she has to like teach him this vocabulary. Um, yeah, it's just so cute. And it's so funny that they're talking about sadists when we were talking about it earlier yes. about, Jack, yeah. about Black Jack Randall. Totally different. Um, I mean, obviously still the same meaning of sadists, but totally different situations. Um, but yeah, a, a cuddle, a nice cuddle right by the fireplace. And then they just get revved up again. They can't stop. Yeah. They can't stop themselves. I mean, um, you know, it's a new day. It's morning it's time. <laughs> you know, the, the clock, the clock resets. resets. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, though. Wow, well, uh, you just remember everything that yeah. happens so much. Yeah, this episode is almost over, and you know the episode can't end with something... Happy. I know. God forbid. Why? Can't end with like, what a fun. lovely moment. Just end it. Yeah, here. exactly. We'll pick it up this next time. They're gonna time. go get something to eat. Yeah. It's great. Yes. All is right with the world. Yeah. Except that Claire finds a I think they end up calling it an ill wish. Uh, yes. So it's a bundle of twigs yeah. underneath their bed. And Claire's like wrapped around uh, it. So yeah. It's like some voodoo dog. What's shit. this? Mm-hmm. And then she could tell by Jamie's reaction to it that it's not good. Yeah, you're right. Ill wish. And he's like, it's an ill wish. And she's like, mm, tell me more. And he's like, well, uh, basically. So basically it's like a voodoo mm-hmm. doll situation. Now also just Why would throw, he throw it, it in, in the, the fire. fire. Right? He throws it near the fire. Yeah, that doesn't. And so Claire's like, that powerful. who would do that? It brings pain and like uh basically on and whoever like it's wherever Jamie it's seems pretty sure it's Larry which is interesting though because I feel like there are at this point like he married an English woman yes like there are other re- like yes Larry has obviously the most motive but I feel like there are probably a lot of other people who aren't necessarily like happy for them so for him to be like very squarely like, yep, it yeah, was yeah. Larry. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, no. and that is the end of episode nine. Let's get to the scoring section. So as a reminder, our categories are steaminess, plot, feminine power, costumes and set, and cringe factor. So let's start with steaminess. So what is your steaminess? Since this Ooh, is uh, top uh, I guess we can't video. really do a ten, can we? Can we do tens again? No, it wasn't a whole. No, wasn't a whole episode of sex. So true, true. Um, I will give it a, a, the wedding a solid five. Same, same Z. I mean, I never have a problem giving it more points, but we know because five it was also was like Larry and her like knockoff choker. And corset. Larry's like, being quite sexy. Him, yeah, mm-hmm. and he almost fell for it. Oh yeah, he thought about it. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. And then there's dagger sex. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, seduction was high. Um, uh, what do you think about so. plot? Oh, plot, 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 plot. Um, I'm trying to recall. What did we just see? Um, probably a a two. Major thing was Colin finding out about the Jacobi, Re- Jacobite Rebellion. Um, it's okay, we can make it a nickname. The Jacobi Rebellion. <laughs> the Jacobi. Um, Larry trying to do their thing. They basically just came back home and then, like, obviously it's just, like, uh, summing up, you know, what went, catching people up on their travels, the people were, who were at the castle. Um, but, but am I missing any other major thing than that? So I gave it a Four. Okay, tell me why. Because there's a lot being set up here in terms of, first of all, the divide within the Mackenzie clan. Yeah. And this is the first time we're seeing the, the main group of men also being split, so between Mackenzie's and True. Fraser's. True. True. Um, we are seeing... Oh, pivotal point in their relationship. Yes. That we talked about. So I'm changing in that to a relationship. And also, um, 
the setup with the with Larry and magic, you know, with the ill wish. Yeah, I just feel yeah, like there's that. a More lot stuff looming going mm-hmm. on there. Got you. Yeah, Got so you. this is really setting up. I think the second half. Of mm-hmm, the season fair. and also some other things that are will be a little more long. Totally term. fair. Um, feminine power. What do you think? Um, probably a four. Definitely very powerful with uh, Claire while on top of him having sex, <laughs> pulling a dagger on him. That gets really high points. Larry doing her thing, really high points. She decided, I'm going to try this tactic. I'm going to right. do this whole thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. And they, those are my major ones. What am I missing? No, nothing. I gave it a four s- simply for dagger sex. <laughs> um, and for, hmm, you know, I wonder if I should make it a 3.5. Only because Claire didn't communicate with Jamie, and I don't love that. Like, Jamie came to the conclusion. On his own. Yeah. Well, it was kind of, no. I wouldn't say it's 100% on his own, because if Claire wasn't, projecting what she I mean like literally she was trying to make it clear that she make was it upset. you know she was very upset which I think is why her communication wasn't as clear as mm. you know Claire's clarity wasn't <laughs> as <laughs> as you know uh, as crisp as it is in you know past episodes um because again she went through they both were like through a lot there was just a lot of emotional build up when they were having was that this episode when they were having their Aggressive fight spout with oh each other. Oh my god, was that was, was that this episode? Uh, guys, we've been doing two episodes a <laughs> night. Nah, man. Yeah. But anyway, I'll I'll just like include that because like yes, wait, wait, this is the reckoning. Time. What yes, episode yes. is this? Mm-hmm, no, yeah. this is both sides now. No, I think the fight was the last episode. No, was it this one? Oh my god, you're just gonna confuse me. In it was any this case, one. I think it was this one. In any case, it's still like her. Uh, standing up for like not being beaten or whatever. Agreed, the fact agreed. that she's still giving him like um, difficulty or toughness. Like, no, no, holding, it was all this scene because it was the spanking. We ground. didn't even talk about the spanking. Yes. Holding her ground with that. Or beating. Um, oh, I mean, it was. I would say yeah. spanking. I would say firm spanking. I, I wouldn't know. say beating. I know, he but used I think belt, the like, show if it was his down fist, plays it a bit. It's dip- yeah, I guess. yeah. Why is it crazy in the book? Do you know? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I mean. I just mean the way because they even play like funny music when there's like that chase. I get. What I think you're they're saying, trying yes. to make it seem yes. like spanking, but also at the end of the day, like they do. It's also not okay to do it. No, no agree. Well, whatever. Okay. I'm just saying both words so that. But anyway, you know, I, all of our fans that we. <laughs> so nobody was offended. Nobody uprises. Oh, gotcha. Um, no, nobody, okay. I, yeah, yeah I'm gonna stick with the four. Yeah. I, I forgot that this was all one yeah. episode. Wow, a lot <laughs> happened in this episode. Yeah, it did. Okay. Um, next is costumes and set. More of the same, really. Yeah. I'm gonna give it um a one, and yeah. that one is just for Larry's Joker. <laughs> Ditto. Actually, mine's more the the move with the corset with nothing else. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Like that's a gotcha. look. That it was, is. That's a bull trace. I'm gonna buy you. I know it didn't go the way she wanted, but. Cringe. Still paid off. Um, a little bit of cringe when Jamie was enjoying um, spanking slash beating Claire. Yeah. Um, and oh, a lot of cringe when they were fighting. If we decide that was in this episode, but like when they were saying the low blows really being like, so maybe, uh, maybe I'll do a three because they were very, very mean to each other. Yeah, I'm all the same reasons, but I'm doing a negative two. So like, I mean, negative I didn't three, enjoy right? the beating, and I mm-hmm. same thing. I the the fight between them was really cringy. Um, I don't I don't enjoy watching that. Although it was, it brought them to a better place. So that's good. Yes. Um. So now. So I, my, total. my total score is a ten, and mine is an eight. So thank you so much for. Joining us tonight, today, this afternoon, this morning, when you're whenever you're listening to, to this, yeah. Um, but please continue uh, listening to it, like, subscribe, share, comment, all the good stuff, and uh, and keep um 
just keep tuning in just because we may have some bonus episodes Ooh. coming in the future. Maybe some special guests. Maybe some things we're doing at the end of seasons. Maybe some know. special guest named Sam Hewitt. Nah, no. I'm just kidding. Oh my god. Wait, what? What did you say? <laughs> Someone get my kill. Okay, bye guys. Bye.